So uh, welcome to my bedroom and also a special welcome from that little guy in the back. His name is Pluck and he will be joining me for practice today. So because of everything happening, I saw a lot of people already share their practice and I got some demand and I thought it would be fun for why not to share my practice with you today. It's just a short stretch. We get our juices flowing and move through the spine a little bit, especially for you working from home. So hi. And first let's start by getting into a comfortable seat and make sure you have a pillow, could be any pillow and a blanket. In your seat, making sure that your knees fall a little bit under your hip bones. And then rising the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. You can align the crown of the head at top of the heart and the heart at top of the pelvis. Nice straight line in the spine. And an in breath to take your arms sideways and all the way up, hands to touch. And out to bring that prayer in front of the heart. And then start to rub those hands together, creating some heat in between the hands, making them nice and warm. And when they're warm, placing your hands over your open eyes and behind your hands, make your gaze softer and softer and softer until you completely close the eyes. And when your eyes are closed, stroking your hands overhead onto the side of the body and then onto the knees. And then taking a next in-breath through the nose and an audible sigh out of the mouth. Doing it two times more into the nose and sigh. One more into the nose. Good. And then see it for a moment. You can find a spot where you can feel your breath best. So it could be around your nostrils, could be in the back of the throat, could be in the chest. See if you can find that spot and then stay there, stay with your breath. Knowing that for a moment the only thing you have to focus on is the breathing. And see if you can start to lengthen your in-breath. And deepen your out breath as we try to make every in and out breath just as long, creating a nice rhythm with the breath. Lengthening the in breath, deepening the out breath. And on the next in breath, draw your shoulders all the way up towards your ears and an out breath through the mouth to let them go. Two more times, in, draw your shoulders up, out to let them go. One more, in, up, and out to let them go, good. And take a next in breath to bring your arms sideways and all the way up. Let your shoulders melt on your back, out to bring those hands back down again. Using the breath. In, arms sideways and up. No hurrying in the beginning, no hurrying in the end. Out to bring them down. Going for a one more up and see if you can draw your navel in towards the spine. So we engage the core a little bit. We keep that spine nice and straight. Holding the arms up this time. Just finding your length. And out breath to bend your elbows, elbows come in line with the shoulders, spread your fingers, cactus arms. The next in breath to bring them back up again and now out through the mouth, back cactus arms, yes. In up, out back cactus arms, good. In up. 
out one more time. Then in, bring it up. And on your next out breath, turning yourself over to the right side. And then placing your left hand on your right knee, right hand behind. And on an in breath, rise the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, finding length in the spine and out to look over his right shoulder to the back of the room. Next in breath, arms sideways and up, hold it there, find that length again, still, navel in towards the spine, still shoulders melted, on the back. Hold. And an out breath to turn yourself to the left side, right hand, left knee, left hand behind, in to find your length. And out to look over that left shoulder to the back of the room and here as well. See if you can find your length with every in breath and every out breath maybe twisting a little deeper. In breath, arms come sideways all the way up and out to let your hands come to the side and down. And then we move all our props to the side as we set ourselves up for a child's pose where you place your knees as wide as the mat, bring your toes to touch, your buttocks towards the heels and stretch your arms forwards so the hands come shoulder width. You can spread your fingers there and see if for a few moments you can allow your chest to soften down towards the mat. And find that length that stretch through the spine, melting your shoulders on your back, and try to keep your face soft. In breath to come high in your fingertips and then out to walk them all the way over to the right side. As you find a stretch in the left side of the body. Take a few breaths there, still softening the chest down, still shoulders on the back. And coming high in your fingertips and slowly walking yourself through the center all the way towards the other side. And here as well, you soften your chest down. See if you can find that spot again where you can feel your breath. Using the breath as an anchor through practice. An anchor to draw us into the now. And coming onto your fingertips again and walking back into the center. And then from here really to see if we can start flowing a little bit on your next owl breath pull the belly button in towards the spine as you bring your chin towards the chest and round yourself up until the shoulders are on top of the wrist then in to bring it back lift your chest let your belly drop towards the mat and bring your buttocks towards the heels so on an owl breath we roll it up and on an in breath we bring it back Let's keep going just for a couple of breaths. So we really find a roundness in the spine as we come up. We hollow out through the back as we bring it back. And then after your next in breath, you're going to come up into a tabletop, shoulders on top of the wrist, knees under the hips, curling under the toes, and in to lift your knees off the mat, out buttocks towards the heels, and then up into a downward facing dog. Rooting those hands firmly down, feet are hip width distance, and finding length in the upper body, still pulling the belly button in, and hold it there as I open the door for Pluck to let him out, 
and then maybe you want to bend your knees one by one to find some extra stretch in your down dog find what you need in this moment making sure there's no space in between the knuckles and the mat firmly root it down and then the next in breath to slowly come into plank and out breaths to bring it down dog Keep going, in, coming into plank, shoulders come forwards on top of the wrist, and out to bring it back down dog. Let's do a few more, working with that breath again. Good. And then the next in breath as you move into plank, let's see if you can hold it there. Just for a few breaths. This is where I notice that my plank is far from perfect. But we do our best, right? So, shoulders on top of the wrist, gaze in between the tip of the middle fingers so we keep some length in the neck as well. I'm trying to make one line from the crown of the hat towards your heels. And pushing the hands down so you don't hang on your shoulders. Good, out breath to bring your knees down and slowly lay your chest down as well, hugging in the elbows. Then push in towards your toes and in to lift your chest, letting go of the toes, push the top of the feet down, out to come down. Root the hands down, shoulder width in, lift the chest, baby cobra out, bring it down. One more in up. Out to come down, curl under the toes, buttocks towards the heels and up, down dog. And then slowly start to walk your feet forwards towards the front of the mat until they're all the way there, placing them hip width distance, grabbing opposite elbows and start to sway yourself from side to side. Just some extra stretches. And then pull the belly button in towards your spine. Engage your core as on an in-breath you bring your elbows all the way over to the right side and up all the way up and an out breath to bring them to the left side and down next in breath right side and up you can play a little bit out left side and down in right side and up and out left side and down moving it the other way around so Next in breath, left side and up. Out, right side and down. So keep engaging your core, keep on rooting the foot down in, left side and up. Out, right side and down. One more. Working with that breath. And then let your arms fall down, take a soft bend in the knees and start to round yourself all the way up to standing, taking your time and stacking the vertebrae on top of each other until lastly you roll your shoulders to the back and the head comes up as well. And then we can stand at the top of the mat with those feet hip width distance, kneecaps come up, curling the tailbone under. And still belly button in towards the spine, collarbone stretched and hands next to the body. In, bring your arms sideways and all the way up. And then interlacing all but the index fingers and out, bring those fingers over to the right side, in, up. And out, left. In, bring it up. And out, hands to the side and down. In, bring your arms sideways and all the way up. And out, hands to the side and down. One more, in, arms sideways and up. Out, hands to the side and down. Then an in breath to bring your arms sideways and up. Then out to fold it forwards, arms to the side and down, swan diving forwards. Placing your hands on your shins and on an in-breath, lift your chest into a halfway lift, shoulders melt on the back, out to fold it forward. 
In coming all the way up, take your arms sideways and up, reverse one dive, hands to tuck, and out, hands in front of the heart. Let's go again, in, arms sideways and up, out, to one dive it forwards. In for a halfway lift, out to fold. In, take your arms sideways and all the way up. And out, hands in front of the heart. Let's do one more. In, arms up. Out to fold it forwards. In, halfway lift. Out, fold. Place your fingertips on the mat and take a big step to the back with your right foot, one leg length. Front knee comes on top of the ankle. You can always bring your back knee down towards the mat if you need that extra. You can place your right hand on your shoulder and on an in-breath, take your left arm sideways and up. And still the shoulders are melted on the back. Still that front knee is on top of the ankle and you can either look to the side of the room or past those fingertips. Oh, so we twist again. Just a few breaths and then out, place your hand down and come to a downward facing dog. Either stay there or next in breath to bring it into a plank. Out breath to bring the knees down, slowly the chest down as well, pushing in towards the toes, in to lift your chest, letting go of the toes. Out, coming down, curl under the toes, buttocks towards the heels, up, down dog. And we're taking it easy by just stepping the feet back to the front of the mat. Hip width distance. And then in, arms sideways and all the way up. Reverse one dive, hands to touch. And out, hands in front of the heart. Other side. So in, arms sideways and up. Out, just one dive forwards. Then in for a halfway lift. Out to fold and left foot, big step to the back. Front knee stays on top of the ankle and here as well. Back knee can always come down towards the mat. Root your left hand down and in right arm comes up. And try to keep some space around your heart. So leave those collarbones stretch. Few breaths. And then the next out breath to place your hand down, come to a down dog, either stay there. Or a next in breath to come into plank, out to come down, maybe to the knees again or maybe this time low plank if it's in your practice, in for cobra or upward facing dog, and out, down dog. And let's join in a child's pose again, toes to touch, buttocks towards the heels as we stretch and through the upper body. And we allow our body a rest. So try to keep your face soft and melt the chest down towards the mat. And then start to round yourself up as we come to seating. So you could even grab yourself your blanket and then give that blanket a nice fold to place under your sitting bone so you tilt yourself a little bit forwards. Makes it easy to sit up straight. It makes it easier to go into a forward fold as we're going to do now. So what we'll do is bend the knees, let the knees fall to the outside feet together, thumbs inside of the feet, other fingers on the outside and then in, lift the crown of the head up. Out to fold it forwards. You can stretch your arms out, but making sure we leave the shoulders melted on the back. You can just allow your upper body to sink down there. Even use every out breath to soften even more. And allow the body to get heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. 
slowly dropping down. Just a few more breaths. And then start to round yourself back up. And then bring your knees up. The feet stay hip width distance. You can come off your blanket. Grabbing the shins and on an in-breath, pull the shins to lift your chest. Look up, out, around the spine. Bring your chin in towards the chest, in to pull it up. And out, around. In coming up, out around, and then in coming up, stretch your arms out and just make sure that you have your meditation pillow nearby. Out to slowly round yourself down on the mat. And I wanted to finish with a very soft inversion, so you're going to need that meditation pillow. Bend the knees, knees come up, and then Push the feet down in the mat and place your pillow under your sacrum. And then from there you can leave your feet on the mat if you're in the first days of your period. If you're not, stretching the legs up towards the ceiling. Making sure that pillow is under your sacrum. And stacking the ankles on top of the hips. So it doesn't take you any extra strength to leave those legs up. As we let the blood flow from the legs all the way down towards our hearts. A few breaths there. You can again bring your focus on your breath. Now breath to slowly bend your knees, place your feet back on the mat, lift your buttocks up and take that pillow out to the side. Bring your buttocks down and then placing the feet as wide as the mat as you let your knees fall in towards each other and place your hands on your belly. And for a few breaths, let's see if you can bring that breath all the way towards those hands and expand your belly like a balloon. And out breath, so just let that breath go in to expand. Breathing to your root. Just a few breaths there. And then decide if you want to leave your knees like this, your legs bent. Or if you want to stretch out your legs into Shavasana. So we're finished with our practice and we take our rest. And then I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And I wish you all a great day and a great rest of the week. And I hope to see you soon here or in person.